Much like its bigger brother, the 1000, the Multistratas were designed by Ducati to give motorcyclists an extremely versatile, user-friendly platform. And there's no question that of the two, the lighter lower 620 is the easier of the two to ride. Hanging from the beautiful tubular trellis frame is an air-cooled, four-stroke, fuel-injected, 90-degree L-shaped twin that's been made into a hydraulically actuated APTC slipper-type clutch and six-speed gearbox. Up front, you'll find a 43mm Marsacci inverted cartridge fork with twin Brembo discs, while out back, a fully adjustable Sax monoshock handles the ripples. So how does it all work? Well, recently we invited a longtime member of the Ducati Owners Club of Canada, Mark Kazmierich, to sample the Multistrata 620. And here's what he had to say after a couple of days in the saddle. Well, Mark, last fall the buzzword was Multistrata, Multistrata. Everywhere I was going, people were asking me, have you tried the Multistrata? And uh, we finally were able to secure one from Brampton Cycle, and you got to be the, the rider. First impression? Uh, first impression, it's a wonderful bike. Yeah. It really is multi-strata and that uh, you can go anywhere with this thing. When you get on the bike, you've got lots of room. I'm a fairly tall guy and lots of room for my legs, which is something that uh, most people don't associate with Ducati. Right. Tend to be the racer crouch, but uh, no, wonderful bike from a, from a comfort point of view. Can't mistake that Ducati engine, 620, no. right out of the Monster. Uh, what did you think? Well, your very first impression is that it's a little bit weak because it's a very quiet motor, mm -hmm. which is not something as well you associate with Ducati, yeah. but mm -hmm. it's got a lot of pull and uh, feels good anywhere anywhere in the rev range. You just turn the throttle and you're moving. What's it sound like? What's it feel like under throttle? What did you think? Well, when it, at first, when you first fire the bike up, it actually has a, quite a pleasant growl uh, sitting at idle. By the time you're on the highway, uh, that sounds pretty muted, and I have to say that if it were mine, I'd be looking at some accessory mufflers to unleash that, uh, that glorious V-twin sound. What about the stopping power with those brakes? Uh, this bike comes with twin 300 millimeter discs and uh, twin piston calipers and uh, the, the brakes feel great when you're riding it. Now what about the, uh, the shifting, the transmission, the clutch? I noticed we've got a hydraulic clutch. It's, uh, oh, the, the, the clutch is wonderful. The shifting is very, very smooth, and it's a six-speed transmission in this one. Uh, what about the cockpit layout? It's it's quite unusual the way they've mounted up the uh, the the speedo and the instrument uh, pod. It's quite high up. The mirrors, just the whole layout. Take us through it. Well, what's really interesting is when you ride this bike, it, it feels fairly large when you're walking up to it. Mm -hmm. When you're riding it, most of the bike disappears from underneath you, and you really do need those instruments up that high because otherwise you'd have nothing in your field of view. The instruments themselves are all electronic and they're, they're very thin, I don't know if you can see that, but they're probably less than an inch thick and they sit on that nice little bracket. Um, the rest of the controls are pretty much standard layout. Mm -hmm. uh, Do the mirrors work? The mirrors actually work. At first you, you, have to, you have to know how to adjust them, but once you get them adjusted, um, you don't see much of your, of your arms at all. You can adjust them just like a car. They move in and out inside the pod. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's quite an unusual shape. I've never seen a mirror shaped like that. No, neither have I. But I have to say that, uh, that uh, when you're seeing the bike coming from you, these turn signals up here in the mirror stocks really are bright. They're <laughs> People know you're turning. Well, that's good. That's good. What about the wind uh, deflection and, and protection? This is one of the most unusual fairings I've seen that I can remember seeing ever. I think it's one of the defining style elements of the bike. And I got to say, it's pretty amazing. I will complain a little bit on a steady highway commute. If you're if you're driving uh, down the 401, for example, you do get a fair amount of wind buffeting in your body. Yeah. But your helmet rides smooth, and, and it's not too bad uh, from a, from shaking your head around. How did you find the uh, the fit and finish of all the pieces? The frame is that red that's just a jumps out at you color. There's uh, as you look around, the castings are smooth and very stylish. Little bits and pieces all over the bike are really interesting to look at. So it's one of those bikes that when you uh, when you finish riding it and you walk away, you look back. How does it handle uh, the bumps, the little bumps, the big bumps? This is very much like a dirt bike with very sticky rubber. Now the nice thing is it's got beautifully tuned suspension. So I, I actually found this bike was easier to throw around. It's, it's almost a hooligan bike. It's easier to throw it into a corner 
with abandon uh, than even a, a super sport type of bike. So anything disappoint you? No, actually I think that overall I'm very impressed with the bike. First impressions are that it's underpowered. Yeah. But as you ride the bike, it really grows on you and you start to find you've got no complaints. No complaints at all. So who would you recommend it to? Somebody like myself, somebody who is maybe getting a little tired of the uh, of the super sport racer crouch. Uh, this is a, a, a very sporting bike. It will hang with the best of them, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and it's something for somebody who enjoys uh, to relax a little bit once in a while. So the first thing I'd do, though, I think I'd do something about these mufflers because I, I like to hear my motorcycles. Okay, well, we'll see what we can do. I think I've got a screwdriver in the, uh, the garage well, let's get going. and the hammer. We'll just punch a few of these out. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Dave. Great job. Glad you could join us.